Hello, this is Steve Hughes of Virtual Piano Studio. I'm going to be covering the essentials of using Zoom on a desktop platform. And the PC and the Mac platform are similar. The interface may be slightly different, but still the main functions are the same. And when you get into the browser version of the features, it is identical. This is going to be separated into three parts. The first one is learning about the interface before entering the actual app. The second part is gonna be the general and the advanced options. We're talking about video and sound and everything else that will help you have a better experience. And then we will actually go into the app itself and go through the main features there. So this is what the app looks like when you get it loaded up. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it out just a little bit, okay? Just depends on how much screen space you have and how you want to uh, have that on your desktop. All right, let's go through the top menus real quick. We have Home, which is where we have access to these uh, quick entering features. Then we have the Chat, Meetings, and the Contacts. We're going to focus on Home primarily and talk about that, and then the Options are going into the settings here. Uh, the chat, this is a good feature to have in the middle of a lesson. If uh, you lose sound, just pick up the phone. It's probably the best way to do that, but you can chat in the middle. Okay, your meetings uh, option shows you your personal meeting ID, uh, which most people are gonna be using that um, for their lessons. You can copy that, send it. Um, and then the contacts, I never use this, but feel free to build in your contacts if you would like to, especially if you're scheduling these with a different ID number. Okay, so back to home. New meeting, this is your quick enter, okay? We wanna get into the app quickly and you've everything set up, we just do that so you don't even have to go through this, the prompts here. So when we click on join, we can actually select different uh, meeting ID numbers. Maybe you have some um, different ones that you use in rotation. Then you can put your name in and it's a different name. You really don't need to do this. Once you have it set up, just new meeting, bam, and you're in. Schedule, this is only if you're scheduling meetings, obviously. Um, so this will, I'm not gonna get into that today. Um, we're gonna go over just the essentials and then sharing the screen. You don't really need to do that from this point. There are reasons for doing that, but really your, the main uh, button to focus on is new meeting here. Okay, so now let's go over to the wheel here. When you click on the settings, now we can get into all the general settings and we'll get to that in just a moment. All right, and then here, this is kind of like your profile. You can change um, certain things, you can get the settings here, you can change your picture. So um, that's your profile. And then the very top left hand corner is where your menu is. You can get to the same things from here, get to preferences from here as well. So just to summarize, once you have everything set up, you really only need this to join a new meeting. And then if you want to uh, set up contacts, and if you want to find out what your personal meeting ID number is really quickly and send it. And that's it.